Good afternoon! For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing we will be discussing SCP-7506. As a warning, today's briefing does contain themes of domestic abuse, so if that's not your cup of tea, Dr. Miller has some archival work you can help him with. For the rest of you, let's begin. Item Number SCP-7506 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-7506 is kept in a standard containment locker. Description SCP-7506 is an electric steam iron manufactured in the early 1960s. The soul plate is heavily dented and covered in various burn marks. While SCP-7506 is plugged in and switched on, contact between its soul plate and any clothing will cause an audible scream to vocalize from the latter while contact is maintained. The screams will match that of a human, varying in tone and pitch depending on the intended body type the clothing was designed for. Testing Log Item An adult man's tailored suit Resulting vocalization Deep pitch scream Similar to that of an adult male Item An adult woman's polka dot dress Resulting vocalization High pitch scream Similar to an adult female Item A boy's plain white t-shirt Resulting vocalization, high-pitched scream, masculine undertones. Item, a young girl's shirt. Resulting vocalization, high-pitched, feminine scream. Item, a white lab coat. Note, item belonged to head researcher Dr. Miles. Resulting vocalization, low-pitched scream, identical to Dr. Miles. Item, a young boy's shirt, heavily torn recovered from SCP-7506's original location, resulting vocalization, high-pitched scream. Item, same torn shirt from previous test. Note, contact between SCP-7506 and the garment lasted longer than in previous tests. Resulting vocalization, screams remained unchanged for the first 30 seconds. Vocalizations gradually became quieter over the next three minutes until ceasing completely. Only infrequent, hushed murmuring would occur until the test's conclusion. Item: A teenage girl's yellow sweater with burn marks matching SCP-7506's soul plate present on the back left shoulder area. Resulting vocalization. High-pitched screams between stretches of heavy breathing. Vocalizations were slightly muffled, as if emanating through clenched teeth. Item: A man's gray tailored suit, immaculately kept. Resulting vocalization. Audible murmuring barely noticeable. Item, a woman's blue dress covered in multiple stitchings from repairs. Resulting vocalization, silence. Discovery Log Original ownership of SCP-7506 was tracked to a house in the town of Allsgate, Pennsylvania, United States. Investigations showed that a Mr. and Mrs. Patterson had previously lived in the same house 40 years prior, alongside their daughter and son. Several articles of clothing were recovered from the house's basement for testing purposes. The daughter and son, aged 55 and 48 respectively, refused to comment on SCP-7506 when questioned. Ms. Patterson passed away 15 years prior at the age of 73 while serving a life sentence for the murder of her late husband. Arrest records revealed Mr. Patterson to have died from repeated bludgeoning to the head, additionally suffering multiple soul plate marks burned onto his face. SCP-7506 had remained in storage as police evidence since the incident. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go submit a request to cross-test SCP-7506 with SCP-4521. Maybe this iron is the key to getting that fucking tree to scream. Uh, I mean, class dismissed. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.